thing is that I was playing with him right before this, and in terms of some of the stuff he does, he's very... It, he's so tricky with how he lands. Like, landing in front of his opponent is honestly Ooh, part of right his there. neutral game. Yeah, like, he'll just... Obviously, going to have some super safe aerials, but he'll, like, basically, he'll jump, and once he comes at you, that is the point at which the interaction starts. I definitely kind of like what's going on around here, just because, like... I, I under I will not I understand. Um I feel like the best part about Solcer in like just a part of like Pokemon trainer in general is his Gordo. Like yeah, like the, the other characters like Ivysaur and Charizard are good too. But I feel like what makes Solcer Solcer is just his like Squirtle play. He's so consistent with those tech chases, like when you're on Squirtle, so if you're not playing a character that can kind of be on Squirtle's level, then it's kind of going to be hard just because, like, you kind of have to keep that in mind that he's very consistent with those as well. Yeah, and also Greninja is a character that can kind of sometimes struggle to hit shorter characters. Um, or at the very least, his, aer his aerials, the timing for it is a lot stricter. Oh, but we're finally seeing Squirtle disappear as Ivysaur takes his place. That up air almost that's killing him. And going to be dead. Yeah. Squirrel putting in the work, but uh, Ivysaur being the one to finish the job. And I also do want to mention that No Chillager, he does not have a paucity of experience in this matchup. At NYU, uh, I think the number one ranked player is Croak, who is a really good Pokemon trainer player. So he plays against him all the time. He should know this matchup, but Pokemon trainer is one of those characters that very dynamic. You know, a lot of different players can play him a lot of different ways. and. One big part of that is, you know, Solstice's focus on uh, Squirtle. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh. I don't know what he wanted there. Yeah, now, Greninja in general can kind of struggle against characters who are just shielding, because mm -hmm. his dash grab is kind of risky. And as we can see, their chillage are not. Ah, but as I say that, starting to go for more grabs. He's, he's definitely just really smart, really intelligent, and will recognize when something he's doing isn't working, and then he'll stop doing that. I definitely feel like No Chillager could definitely be playing neutral a little bit better. Just because, like, the more he's kind of just, like, playing just but not pressing anything, like, yeah, jumping and stuff, but, like, I would like him to kind of just kind of look for opportunities of where he should be hitting um, Squirtle or Ivysaur. I mean, the big thing is that he's trying to find the kill right now. Well, a kill right now, but I mean, just in general, like when he, because it. I mean, I, mean, I think he, he's playing it patient, which is a smart thing to do against Squirtle in general because of just the you know da the the damage output he ends up getting and everything. Very nice. Like and this he's actually starting. not going for down air. Instead, oh, and as soon as he does, it actually kind of doesn't work out for him. He's trapped at the corner. Let's see if uh, Chilliger can make some something happen. And right as I say that, he's that back on Ivysaur. Stint to the corner was very short lived. He's just not doing a, like not having a great time of locking him down. All right, now against Charizard, things can be pretty tricky because Charizard is up smash, and we know that normally Greninja likes to come at to come at his opponents in the air. Ooh, very nice way. All right, I I really like that decision to switch to Squirtle. Uh, the fact that he was Charizard, he ended up taking a lot of damage. And oh. that's a, whoa, a stock. Curious to see how he's gonna take the stock. Oh, that could have spelled death right there. Uh, I don't think so. Um, he could have. I mean, he could have down aired and. But that he would have. I don't think the down air wouldn't have, been, wouldn't have been enough. I mean, oh, he tried to call out a jump out of shield, but the M Solstar didn't give it to him. But things are actually looking not so bad for Chillinger. Right as I say that, though, he's forced to land against this Charizard. He needs to take a stock right now. Otherwise, Solstar is just going to absolutely run away with this game. Very nice. Very nice six up. I like the, the going for down throw more just because of how um, I don't think F throw would have killed at that point. F throw would not have killed. Uh, it's a 50 50. And you don't want to steal your up throw. 
it is also the sort of situation where he neutral get up in his face, and maybe Chillinger should be going for just guaranteed kills, you know? Like, if your opponent makes a mistake and, like, neutral get up in your face, yep. try and take advantage of that and actually end your opponent. All right, yeah, we're going to be seeing the Squirtle at these. He's only at 53%, so Squirtle can probably do chain together some few combos if he manages to get a hit or two in. I would definitely like to see kind of, um, what's it called? Just doing more of what he just did there. Just dash attack whenever Squirtle's out. Just because of, like, Greninja being able to low profile. And wow, we got sucked into, into that. that. <laughs> that was he kind of just a, rolled into that. <laughs> that. That was probably a misinput, actually. But it works out pretty well for Solcer. <gasps> okay. But this is one thing about Chillager. He pays attention to his opponent's habits. And that's what we're seeing right now. These defensive options that Solcer has been getting away with for most of the game. Now we're... Kind of backfiring on him. Even. He almost dies from that forward air. Can this edge guard be completed? Oh, oh, just barely. That up smash missing. And now, Solcer is the one who has to about these, uh, these, uh, what is it called? What he just did. I, I don't know that move. That's back off stage. This is so scary. Oh, that might be it. He down throws. Is he going to get the up? He knows way too far away. But he's trapped at the ledge. Charizard comes out now. Things are getting really tricky. He actually manages to oh, connect wow. the forward air. Chillager nice. with the crazy comeback. Wins game one. Definitely seeing a little bit of a mid-set adaption there. Yeah, now I think that... For Solcer, he needs to figure out sort of how Chilliger managed to really run away with that last stock. Um, he was going for these defensive options that were working out very well. You notice the Pokemon switches, the air dodges, mm -hmm. but on that last stock, when you know it really comes down to it, Chilliger just paid attention and really punished him for doing that. So as Solcer moves on into the rest of this set, he needs to think about his defensive options. He needs to sort of make sure to stay one step ahead of uh, no Chilliger, otherwise. He's going to get upset here. No, 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 no. You're not. You're not. You're kidding us. He's kidding us. We're not, he's not going Ganon. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Game two now. I think we're having... All right. Same stage pick. Oh, I'm actually... Never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to do it again. Okay. Um, You can continue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That is fine. This next game starting off much, much slower. We're seeing that not neither of them want to engage when they're not totally comfortable about it. And so far, the engagement is working out for Soul Surf. But the damage, so they're kind of going blow for blow right now. Um, right as I say that, finally, uh, Soul Surf gets a combo in. But Squirtle is not the character that you want to be trading with. His oh, damage output is pretty pitiful. His moves, on average, do like what? Five to seven percent. I but think I'm, his back air and down air might be closer to ten. Or I mean, 12, I don't think it's gonna really matter just because of how fast Squirtle is. Like, you're not gonna be killing most of the time with Squirtle unless he is getting you in those frame Yes, caps. but if you're trading, then you're gonna be taking 54, 58 percent. At which point you're gonna have to be forced off of Squirtle earlier because of the fear of dying. And That's also, true. you might just be forced into Ivy Sword when you're not ready for him yet. Oh, now we haven't really seen the Charizard be able to do anything crazy just yet. Ooh. Okay, let's see if maybe that'll change this time around. He is forced into the Zard right here. Switching to Squirtle would be super risky. Oh, Ooh, but staying Zard is that's... risky itself. Look at that, the double up air. And for the first time, and... never mind. No, no. <laughs> Chill no, had no, him have that. <laughs> Okay, very nice. Yeah. Wait. That's something that he's been going for a lot when somebody's are shielding above him. I think maybe he's trying to look for a shield poke with the up smash, but for the most part, he isn't getting punished for it, but also punks are just shielding all the way through. Very nice recovery there. I think he was trying to go for some extra coverage right there, seeing if maybe he could, you know, still mm -hmm. punish a switch. But Solcer managing to actually get out of that combo situation. Now he's Squirtle once more. This is his most comfortable character. This is the one who can probably be doing the most consistent damage. But given the percent window, they, he's going to be switching to Ivysaur. 
I definitely like this attempt at like him just edge guarding him. And oh, whoa. Wow, that's very the nice. Reach. That was a very nice read. That was just uh, the option coverage on that was insane. Because I think if he had rolled back, he would have gotten hit too. I can't believe that up uh, that that forward smash reach, man. All right, and now this is a really big mountain to climb. No, Tillager did manage to get a really good uh, comeback in the last game, but this time around, this might be a little bit too much for him to handle. Okay, right as I say that, a big forward smash. Can he actually get this edge guard? I think he's forced to switch. Oh, no, he can't nice. switch at all. No time given. You have to respect. <laughs> you have to respect the fact that uh, Greninja can go way deep. So just throwing out a move like when you're way out there isn't safe. Oh, Scootle down smash normally a super safe move, but. Uh, Tillager managing to force the whiff. And now Soul Sir he still has the lead right now. And now as Ivy Sword, could, there are maybe even ways he could take a stop. Well, nice one of the option covers there. Oh, Uppy is super scary. I like the fact that Solstice is using it feels like all of the moves in Ivy's kit. That up smash almost did it outright. And he's Charizard, so he's kind of having struggling to land here. Oh, the up smash, but Greninja just jumps too high. He read that air dodge, but doesn't actually get the punish. Right now, both of them are in such scary situations. One back air oh. from Charizard will probably do it. The Squirtle actually there comes out. And now it's Ivy Sword. This is a much better position for Solstar. Ivysaur has so many ways to kill and isn't quite as overrun the same way. But right as I say that, he gets the stock. He gets game two. No Chillator moving on in the winner's bracket. Very nice showing in there from him. All right. Oh, that was an intense match.